hi all welcome to tableau experts so today i'm going to showcase uh, the advantage of attr function in tableau so let me drop orders table so i'm using 2020.3 version this is the latest version so we have uh, let's say subcategory wise sales and you can see click on drop down you can make use of attribute attr function so when you straight away when you click on attribute it will convert into attr of that particular uh, dimension okay so what is the advantage of this so i'm, I'm going to uh, place let's say i'm going to use category and i'm going to place subcategory and if you have a kind of uh, parent and child not only parent and child this is an example okay let's convert subcategory into attr attr of subcategory you are getting star so what is the advantage of this in the sense uh, it's an aggregation of an it, it's it's an aggregation on top of attribute or we do call as dimension okay so this is an aggregation of a dimensional values that's the reason we are getting star but basically if you have one single value okay we are going to get that particular naming convention but if you have more than one element you are going to get star okay uh, let me give a proper example here so let's say i have product name and multiple orders let's let's take product name and we do have we have different products and if you want to know uh, the number of orders has been placed on top of the, on top of that particular uh, product so just make use of order id okay so for this product we do have uh, six six number of orders correct and here we have two orders so if you want to know the single ordered product and multiple ordered product okay and if you want you can use sales so the point is if you want to know the single ordered products and multiple ordered products simply you can make use of attr function okay you can you can straight away click on attribute you are going to get attr of order id now you can see wherever you can find star there are multiple orders and uh, here it's only a one single order that's the reason you are getting that specific naming convention okay and what you can do is uh, just click on this drop down you can also apply a filter condition so that if you want to know only the single order products just unselect star so you are going to get all those orders like all the single order products okay or if you want to go for only like uh, multiple ordered products you can select only star clear so this is one option uh, this is one point where we can use attr and one more example is like this is very very important when it comes like calculation part uh, let's say i do have like region wise sales let's say i have region wise sales and i'm going to write a calculation field like uh, uh, it's a different calculation let's say if region equal to central then i want to display sales else i want to display average of sales so let's put aside the average uh, i just want to go for a different aggregation okay it's not average any aggregation is fine but in that case how the calculation works so let's create a calculation field so now let's write a simple if condition if region if region equal to central then sales generally we can close that okay if region equal to central then sales it will display central by sales correct central sales click ok just double click on central sales we are going to get only central by sales this is the calculation but if you have different aggregation right apart from cent like apart from sales let's say if region equal to central then i want to display sales or sum of sales and else i want to display average of sales let's edit edit the same calculation so now instead of sales because i need to use an aggregate function called as sum correct if region equal to central then sum of sales else i want to display average of sales and okay now uh, we are getting an error here just click on this drop down 
this is the regular uh, generally you can see in tableau most of the cases we are going to get an error called as cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate comparisons right so we are using aggregate function called as sum of sales here and here we have average of sales okay but what's where is the issue here so we are we have aggregation across the measured values but we don't have because this calculation is expecting uh, the this one is also be aggregated you got my point right so the best option is that's the reason we have a, a functionality called as attr so we can make use of attr of region you can use attr function attr of region equal to central then i want to display sum of sales else i want to go for average of sales so click apply click ok so we are getting uh, an error because uh, the default aggregation whenever you are going to pull any measure is called uh, if you do get is sum we already applied let's edit this calculation we already applied aggregation within the calculation you can see sum of sales and you have average of sales correct so what you can do is just drop the calculation and you can make use of uh, the central sales again so just place the same calculation in the report now you can see the default aggregation because we already applied sum and average in the calculation that's the reason we are getting uh, the aggregate function called as agg and we are getting sales sum of sales for central and the average of uh, you can see average is the uh, not the level which we are expecting but this is just an example to avoid aggregate and um, non-aggregate issue okay yes we have different functions to calculate average like we can use level of details or you can also go for windows calculations but this is the best example where you can avoid aggregate and non-aggregate functions by making use of attr calculations so thanks for watching and please do subscribe